Yes, so hello guys, welcome back to another edition of Sports Updates Ghana. My name is Joseph Adamafi. You bring you the latest updates in sports. And coming up in this edition, the Ghana Football Association elections was held in Tamale with Ket Okweku being re-elected as the new president of the GFE for the second time. Well, we're going to check out how the elections went down in Tamale. Then we'll also look at what Ket Okweku had to say after being re-elected as the GFE president. He had a message for his opponent that is George Efri and we'll get into the details of that but there were some surprises in the GFE Executive Council elections as a Samoajan's manager Samir Enim Adu lost his lot in the ESCO GFE but it was good news for Asante Kotoko as the man that is coach we see up here was elected onto the new GFE Executive Council. We'll get into the details of this and more here on Sports Update Ghana. But before that, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. So let's get right into it. Starting off with how Ket Okriku arrived at the event ground for the GFE elections in Tamale, where well, the GFE president arrived in style and was given a rousing welcome by delegates in Tamale. <laughs> So that was how Keto Kriku arrived for the GFA 2023 elections in Tamale. Well, the elections kick started at around 9 a.m. on Thursday, October 5th. And in the GFA presidential polls, well, Ket Okweku went on opposed after his opponent, that as George Efriye, was disqualified by the vetting committee. So Ket Okweku had to just go there and show himself to the delegates for them to vote yes or no, meaning that the delegates should vote yes in favor of Ket Okweku being once again re-elected as the GFA president, or those who were not in favor of Get to Kriku's re election will vote no. Well, at the end of the elections, where well, Ket Okriku pulled 117 votes out of 119 votes, meaning that 117 delegates voted in favor of Ket Okriku's re elections, whilst a little of just two voted against Ket Okriku. Let's check out how Ket Okriku was re elected as the president of the GFA for the second term. <laughs> He had a vote of 170 yes, making 97.5 percent. <laughs> and he had no vote, two no votes, constituting 1.66 percent of the final vote count. We had one abstaining. So in total, we had a vote of, we should have had a vote of 120, 122, so 124, 124. We will now invite Mr. Edward Kruppi, please come to the side of the So, I declare Mr. Okriku, President-elect of the GFA. Thank you very much. So that was how Ketu Kriku was re-elected once again as the president of the GFA. Well, shortly after his re-election, Ketu Kriku was given the podium to make his first speech as the president of the GFA for the second time running. Well, he had a message for his opponent, that is George Efri, and I want us to listen carefully and watch. The last few days, two days ago, I had a meeting with my brother, my colleague, George Efri. I have just one message for him. 
We can only build the Ghanaian game when we stay together. The football game is a very big one. And everybody, including my brother George, has a role to play. I will reach out to George and I will bring him back home. So, George, wherever you are, we are one. My message to you is Nidema. My message to you is Nidema. So that was what Keto Kriku said concerning how he wants George Efriye to come on board to make sure that Ghana's football rises and develops and that we profit more from Ghana football. Keto Kriku is saying that he doesn't want to do it alone but wants to bring everyone on board. Well, Keto Kriku came into office as GFE president back in 2019 after the uh, former GFE president that is Kwesin Yantichi resigned from his post following the Anas number 12 documentary which exposed the rules in the Ghana Football Association. So the normalization committee came on board and later on Keto Creek was voted as the new president. Well, following the expiration of his tenure in office, Keto Creek as constitution mandate was re-elected for the second time as president of the GFA and his new team will expire in 2027 and after that Ket Okweku will not be able to seek a third term in office because according to the new GFA regulations presidents are supposed to run only twice but let's move on and do some more there were some surprises in the GFA school elections well some people lost their slots and that included a Samoajan's manager Samo Enim Adu who was seeking to be re-elected onto the GFE Executive Council. The GFE Executive Council is what is like the member of parliament so when you have the president you have the member of parliament so that they ensure that they put the GFE president in checks and all that. Well for Sami Enim Adu he lost his slot in the GFE Esco. Now, with the GFA Esco, there are eight slots available. The Ghana Premier League clubs have four, whilst the Division One League clubs have, I think, uh, three. Then there is one that is given to uh, the Women's Premier League. So, in all, it makes eight. So, Sami Enim Ado, well, he was using the Division One League to get onto the Esco, but unfortunately, he was voted out after seven just one year but there was some good news for Kumasi Asante Kotoko as coach Kwesi Apia was voted onto the newly elected GFA executive council well unfortunate news for Karela United is that their representative that is a lawyer Mandy who I was also uh, rooting for to get onto the ESCO was not elected into office but Fred Achi managed to get uh, his election into the newly constituted GFE Executive Council. So these are the members of the newly elected GFE Executive Council that you are seeing. There is Fred Achi, there is Mark Ado, there is Christine Yantichi, eh, sorry, there is Chrissy Apia and all that over there. Well, that's how we wrap up here on Sports Update Ghana. I hope you enjoyed this particular update on the Ghana Football Association elections that took place in Tamale. Well, until then, thanks for doing the watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. I'm out.